Hello everyone, here's the unsolicited feedback for a conference called application called scroll viewport. So let's take a look. The idea here, if I see correctly, is that it allows us to publish documentation in the help center. It allows us to customize the team, set up your own domain, have version content and so on. So I think it sounds like we want to build a help center. On top of this looks like Zappos is Cloud Fortified, it has liability checks, it part of security programs and so on. But let's see quick the reviews. I mean, the rating is pretty cool. The highest are replying to all reviews. So in mostly the positive security wise, it seems good as well. We are missing potentially compliance as well as data residency attributions. What else is here? Support is provided. A limited support is provided. Installation here the steps. Let's go. We need to get our application. Let's go to our website and uh, through our conference site and find this. Okay, funny enough, I didn't have conference. Uh, my new instance which just created. So let's install the application. It looks like it has tons of reviews. Oh, which, which is not so cool. It's not free for very small instance. It has 20 bucks cost. I would rather go, it must be free. So this is the first drawback, which I see that it's not free for <clears throat> smallest as a free tier of confidence. I think it could help them to grow. So let's wait for it to install. Okay, seems like the app was installed and we want to see this page. So what we want to do, we want, of course, to create our first website. Let's see. Okay, another website. The site name, let's call it unsolicited feedback. URL is like, this is fine. English is cool. So let's create the site. It's a fly now. Now it seems like we want to get content sources. We want to have confluence space as a content source. And we want to have our first space. URL segment. Have no idea, but let's call it more work forward. Save. Here's here's our now we need to add content and team. Let's see what it does. Looks like we can edit our help center, which would help us, of course, to make it more attractive for our customers and potentially display our brand value. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It started in conference. I think it's pretty cool. Let's have it. We've done it. Skip now, generate preview. So looks like we need to <coughs> generate the preview for our cool website. See, it happens. Okay, I'm waiting for a couple of minutes and still analyzing something, and the issue looks like it's kind of slow because my website was empty more or less. Okay, looks like we are done. You can click to use the report. No content to slow, something is missing. Failed publishing content to slow. But the whole life, anyways, sounds like we are live. And let's open our cool help center and see what happens. Oh, looks like it's here. So theoretically we can preview it. And here's our conference page. All content is there. I like it. That they also generated some stuff. So you can see it helps center in action. Let's try to search for spaces. And let's see if it will give us the, the page which you want to see. Okay, the search also works. Theoretically and practically we may all we may also provide our custom domain. For example, blah, 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 let's see, of course, I don't have the domain, let's see what it does, what, some certificate validation, of course, put in the NSC name, I'm pretty sure it's doable because it has, they have 3,000 customers, so I think it, it should all work, we public access, we can restrict, manage, okay. What the hell is this? I don't want this. 
but otherwise we can have multiple languages we can have customized team of course we can try to make it mobile and see how it behaves it behaves pretty pretty well as you see it's mobile friendly straight away which is super cool so overall i think and the onboarding experience was pretty easy install installation was also easy there are multiple usage and use cases so for example if we go to help center uh, here as you see we can see tons of products from azure DevOps, google workspace microsoft teams looks like it's all easy to navigate on top of this it's kind of it was very fast so we managed to install set it up publish everything in a few minutes i would say potential improvements would be actually speed as well as make it more customizable because the team has doesn't have many settings and it's not always easy to understand how to order things but overall i think it's pretty nice help center which it's easy to start if you have any feedback any suggestions for the vendor of this application please put them in the comments thank you